Previously on Brotherhood. These fucking guineas. They get the best tables. They're bigger than us. I'm honored to build on our friendship. The road to friendship is paved with baby steps. Do you have a college student or a mistress or whatever? No. <sighs> You've been indicted, Marty. We have to take you in. Don't worry, Deco. It's okay. He's sick, Rose. And he's not gonna get any better. He would like to meet his father. Who are you? It's below. I'm pregnant. Fuck! I can't do it. So Michael Caffey burned down a used car lot on Argyle for Freddie Cork. Michael Caffey has agreed to become a TEC informant, so there's no way Michael Caffey could have been at that used car lot. I'm not getting a proper return on the money you're wandering from me. I can't give you 80 cents to the dollar. Figure it out, Michael's. What the fuck are you talking about? I was talking to Freddie, and uh, I think the two of you should sit down somewhere nice and calm and reorganize his portfolio. This is great. You getting all this? Freddie right Cork! Come on, Amazon! You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Michael, you take care of my family! For the record, I, uh, I want to start by saying that I don't like doing this. You know, turn it on one of our own, um, it kind of makes me sick. But my boss, U.S. Attorney Ellis Franklin, is a corrupt motherfucker, and I have more than enough shit on him to take him down. You don't want to do this. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Believe me, you don't. We never had this conversation. For your own good. What's he doing? He's playing Route 1 football, trying to lob it over the top. Pass the fucking ball out to the flank. How long have you been interested in the beautiful game, then? I thought Americans didn't care for football without helmets. Best steak I ever had was in Philadelphia, a little joint. Next to the train station. During the war. You were in World War II, were you? Yes, I was. Did you actually fight? Of course I fought. Where? Where? North Africa, Anzio, Okinawa. Where? One saw a girl in a white dress standing on a street corner in Rome next to a flower shop. Oh, prettiest girl I ever saw. You were in Rome? Room? I want to work. Work? Yeah, you know, get a job. Well, why? We're doing fine. Because it occurred to me that my life might be more than, than this. Well, what could you do? Mary Kate said I could volunteer at social services twice a week. I start tomorrow. Tomorrow.
Just like that. Just like that. Kids are asleep. Three little Eddie Thomas tank engine three fucking times. Where are you going? Go to work. You can be back for breakfast? Yeah. I hope so. I should be back way before breakfast. I'll slip it about beside you. And I'm ready to make you move. I gotta go. Who's holding the chocolate chips? Michael, you ever think of getting into the purse business? The... No, can't say that. Fake purses. Fake purses. Don't fucking laugh. Fancy, smancy purses. Chanel and Vuitton and whatnot. People can't tell the difference. I can tell the difference. Me too, it's a Mr. Ching. Mm. You want to bet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking discourage him, all right? He's spreading his wings for a good thing. She's just telling the truth. The fake ones look cheap. Two Chinese dudes, Mikey Grogan knows, turn me on to this shit. They'd sell us the purse for $10 each. We'd turn around and sell it for up to 700 bucks a piece. Tiny profit, right? One of these is real. One of them is fake. I can't tell the f fucking difference. I don't know. Ladies, if either you guess right, you can keep the real bag. This one's real. Wrong. You sure? Of course I'm fucking sure. Ten bucks? All right. Let's do it. OK, there's a problem. What? The best place to move this shit is out in Garden City. Mm. Store for rich ladies. They only keep high-end quality goods. But the guy who owns the store. Won't play. Did you explain to him that it would be in his best interest? Mazzoli's wife shops there. He's protected. Come on, come on. These lights always been so bright. Sorry, Mr. Shadow Man. We'll live in complete darkness from now on. These are seriously deranged individuals we're talking about here, Becky. Oh, you mean all those good friends of yours? Those ones? Friendly? Friendly? Yeah. So you can get me out of here now, right? Has being in here taught you nothing? The judicial system of this great nation moves very slowly. You can't get me out of here. No. Frank will stall as long as possible. But when he finally accepts the fact that he can't prosecute you without the testimony of poor departed Brendan, then most likely he'll drop the charges, yes. Most likely his witness is fucking dead. Freddy, you'll get out. Breathe deeply, meditate, something. Jesus. Why don't you earn some of that money I pay you and tell Caffrey to give my funeral proper due? He's been a little light with his payments lately. You think you can do that? I'll tell him. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too, baby. Now get me the fuck out of here. Gigs. Let's go for a drive.
where are we going, huh? Work or pleasure or what? I suppose pleasure would be too much to ask, wouldn't it? You know, there's this uh, seriously rank bar down the street called Cozy's. You know, broken jukebox, cheap whiskey. It's old toothless grandma behind the bar. You wanna go? I'd like to congratulate you on your keen vigilance, Detective Giggs. Vigilance? Ever on the watch for corruption and incompetence at the very top. Wait, they fucking told you? The fucking FBI. And because of this newfound excellence of yours, this sudden ambition to do the right thing, I'm going to reward you, Giggs. I'm actually going to promote you. You're going to become a case officer on our most important case. What the fuck are you doing? This is your new case officer. Case officer. What the fuck are you talking about? Declan is gonna join Ralph on our little team here. You're out of your fucking mind. This guy's a fucker. I mean, no disrespect, Declan. He opens his fucking mouth to Freddy. You know, I'm a dead man. So let's hope he doesn't, for all our sakes, including his. Gentlemen. Hey, partner. <laughs> okay, let's get started, shall we? Judd's probably stuck in traffic. All due respect, traffic is not Judd's problem. Judd's incompetent. Let's just save this conversation for another time, shall we? Tommy, we want you to assume the chairmanship. I can't do that. Why not? The man is my friend. He hasn't been to a meeting all year. You're in charge. Why not claim credit for it? I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I'm gonna dance with the girl that brung me. Okay, Chairman Fitzgerald has been delayed, so I'm gonna sit in for him. The Parks and Highway Commission will now entertain bids for repairs on the southbound lane to the Interstate 95. Okay, who's making the first bid? Somebody we know is doing pretty well recently. I'm gonna give you an extra 2% on the motel. It's about fucking time. Thanks, Mike. Ah, no problem. Uh, down a little on pharmaceuticals, you know? But overall, doing pretty good considering what it's like out there. So I'm gonna give you an extra 1% boost. Is that cool? Thanks, Mike. All right. Now, what we gotta do? Hey. Hey, Jack. Hey. I'll call Bear with you at the spot, Terry. What's going on? You hear about Brendan? He was shot last night trying to get out of Dodge, right in front of his house. Without his testimony, Franklin may have to give Freddie a free pass. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mulligan. Hey, boys, you want to give us a minute? John. Freddy's getting out. Well, Franklin will drag his feet. But if I have my way, which I usually do, Freddy be a free man by the end of the month. That's good news. Oh, by the way, Freddy's concerned that his proper cut isn't being delivered to Fiona in a timely manner. Why the fuck would I want... Doesn't matter.
sorry about the racket. This place is a zoo. No worse than a morning at the DMV. So, the spiel. Uh, my little neck of the woods is victim services. We get people who have been raped, people who have been robbed, families of homicide victims. They usually need help dealing with uh, the cops, the courts, hospitals, government bureaucracies. What do you want me to do? Well, I'd like to start you out just checking people in. Names, addresses, phone numbers if they got them. Find out what the problem is. Okay? Okay. You're gonna do just fine. Hey, Tommy. The sun too bright? No, 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 no. I like it. Warms my bones. Where's Peg? I rang the bell. She's uh Peggy went uh... You, you made it clear to the contractors that we're only handing out the first half mile of Riverwalk, yes? I held up the other two miles like a big fat carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Budgets are only kept when people think that they can make more money by keeping them. It's human nature. We missed you at the meeting today. Bullshit. You didn't miss me. No, you were missed. Let's just put it that way. Go on, Tommy. Spit it out. They asked me to replace you. Well, they asked, they asked me to be chairman. You'd still maintain control through me. You just wouldn't have to attend any of the meetings, which you hate anyway. You get to work the way you like to work, run things from behind the curtain. When does the commission meet again? It's not for another couple of days. I'm going. I don't think that's a good idea. It's time for my nap. I get cranky when I don't have my nap. Excuse me, what's your name, please? Eldris Louis Buchanan. Your address, please? I got no address, you stupid cunt. I live in a fucking refrigerator box. Why are you here? What? What problem has brought you here? My kid got shot. I'm sorry. I gotta get him buried. You gonna help me get him buried? Of course. Um, um, how old is he? Eight. Eight? Yeah. $6,000. How many purses? 600. 300 purses. What? 300 purses. What the fuck are you talking about? We agreed to $10 a purse. $20 a purse. Hey, you said fucking 10. 20. Give me that fucking thing. <laughs> Yo, this is fucking bullshit. We agreed to $10 a purse. $20. That's fucking... Fuck you! Hold it. Hold it. What's the point in negotiating with these fuckers if they don't keep their word? $10 a purse, but for every 50 we move, you get $200 bonus, plus we guarantee a year's business. That's more than fucking fair. And it might stop him from shooting you. Be clear. My yeah. Someone, Don't die, someone be clear. Fuck you talking about, yes or no? Hey! Oh, what? All right. Hey, Tommy. Yes? Tommy, I got
Easy to let anyone in here, huh? You know, losing weight. Yeah, it's called a 20 to life diet. What are you reading? Travel book. Out London. I always wanted to get to London. Franklin can't keep you in here forever. Doesn't matter. I'm still not getting to London. Cancer's back. Ah, shit, buddy. I'm sorry. I'll be dead by Christmas. Says who? Huh? What the fuck do they know? The cancer already went into remission once already, right? It's spread. It's everywhere. No, 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 no. Listen to me. You gotta stay positive. It's all in your head. Okay? Attitude is what counts. I was really appreciating life, you know? Even in this place. And now that I know I'm gonna die here, it's just a big cold grave. Oh, Sammy. Look, that's too fine. If you like future demolition experts, you got to learn to distance lamp yourself from those kind room. of people. That nice one with the seashells we got in Hyannisport? Ignore her. You know what she's like? She's a fucking pain in the ass. He's okay, right? Of course he's okay. He's indestructible. You know, she likes to eat. Maybe she'll fucking explode and die. Hey, no. What the fuck? You fucking want some? You're fucking wrong. You fucking want some? Huh? Asshole. Oh. Pamela got a geography test back? Yeah, she got a B. With the extra credit for the coloring. That's good. That's important, you know? I mean, she keeps studying. Fucking college is so competitive these days, you know. It's only kids on the east side are taking all the fucking good schools, and I just. But are you all right? Yeah. Fred. Baby, I'll call you later. That's Trix Road. Trix are fine, thanks. Something on your mind. I'm worried about Judd. Why, what's wrong? Tommy's got him worked up about some committee meeting he's supposed to run. What committee meeting? I don't know. But I don't think Judd should do it. He's not in very good shape. His mind wanders. He forgets things, gets confused. Shoot. Hi. It's so hard to imagine him. He's such a tough old son of a bitch. <laughs> Not anymore. Would you talk to Tommy? These are good sausages. No, this is a really good. It's the marinade. Secret formula. Vinegar and garlic. My lips are sealed. So, nice work protecting Brendan there, boys. America's finest. The fuck happens now? You gonna let Freddy walk? 
unless the gods intervene, I may have to. Of course, I gave you an Azoli. Ah, oh. the Buggers Clubhouse on Mason Street. Now, we need probable cause. Yeah. So, what do you need him to have done? We would also need the layout of his clubhouse. You know, when Azoli makes his phone calls, where to put the bugs. So. All right. All right. Well, I can't promise, Michael, about Freddy. Law's the law. Right. Absolutely. Martha. Martha. We're gonna try and help you locate your son's body and have him properly buried. Hey there, pretty face. You should smile. Do you know where the police took your son after he was shot? Hospital? Which one? Come on, come on, smile, please. Oh, there, that's better. <laughs> Change your clothes here in case of emergencies. <laughs> You're not going to win any fashion contests, but uh, who cares, right? I mean, we're worker bees, not supermodels. You okay? I'm fine. It can get pretty gross around here sometimes. Don't worry, I can take it. I know you can. I know. If I can talk to Mike tonight. Listen, be diplomatic about it. Remind him who the fuck has been taking care of him for 10 years, okay? He said that. He, you know something? You know, no, 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 no. Fuck him. Fuck him. Break his fucking balls. I want my fucking money. <laughs> fucking ingrates. How many of those you go for a week? Too fucking many. It's cut into my profit margins. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, you're a little claustrophobic. He's a big guy to be stuck in a space that small. I've been meaning to get up to see him, but you know, I'm so fucking jammed here, you know what I mean? I know, I know. Where's the time? So I, uh, I brought you a little gift. How do you feel about going into the purse business? That's very handsome. It's beautiful. It's also fake. A real Gucci like that will set you back uh, a whole bunch of money. It's like, you know, a lot of money. It's shit. 700 bucks. Yeah. You know how much that one cost? 60. So why include me? Why not keep the profits for yourselves? Well, best outlook for stuff like that is a place called the Beauty Spot in Garden City. Very nice, very old market, very tasteful, ladies' clothes and such like. And the owner is a, a, a guy called Jack Costello. And I don't know what I've done, but he, he doesn't want to do business with me. What kind of split you have in mind? 80-20. I know Jack Costello in the store very well. My fucking wife, God bless her. Spends a small fortune in there every year. No shit. 
I could buy a fucking country for what she drops into that asshole's pockets. You know what I'm saying? In that case, I'm thinking 70-30. And I do overwork. I'll gladly be a partner. And I'll gladly stick it up Costello's ass. <laughs> Madam, are you okay? I need to talk to you about Judd. Don't give me that look, Tommy. You should go and see him yourself. Well, it's not my place to. What's this I hear about you sending him in to run some committee or other? Committee of talks and who, who told you? Who? Oh. Who? Oh. Never mind. I'm not sending him in. He's charging it all on his own. Why is this such a good idea? No, no, it's not. Well, then stop him. I can't. I tried. Well, protect him. How? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Tommy, promise me. Ma? Promise me. All right, I promise. Now, who told you? No, oh, I have to go in. I T-vote American Idol. <laughs> oh, how are things between you and Eileen? We're a married couple. Yes, you are. And don't you forget it. What's that supposed to mean? Have a good day, sweetheart. What the fuck is taking so long? I got better things to do than wait around all day. Excuse me. We're here to see about the release of a body you're holding. Give me my boy, you cocksuckers. Name? Martha Danas. Name of deceased. Shane? Spelling? S H A N E. Nothing less So the morning was a little. Well, well can you try another spelling? S H A Y N E or A I N? Please. <coughs> I'll need to see your driver's license. I ain't got no license. Your passport, birth certificate. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Passport? I need proof of ID. I can't just pass out bodies to anybody. My name is Eileen Caffey. I work for social services. We're just trying to get Mrs. Dana's son. My husband is Tom Caffey, Representative Tom Caffey. Wait here. Your husband's some kind of hot shot? hope so. Well, I just want my boy. What was he like? My son? He was sweet. A good kid. He was a daydreamer. Who shot him? His best friend, Harry. He was shot by an eight-year-old boy? What's that? Shane Dan's. Sign here. Uh, Nizzoli does his business sitting there. Maybe you could put a bug in this. This is a heating duct right there. Or, I don't know, maybe one in the light switch for good measure, because, you know, he's paranoid. He's got music on all the time. I don't know. I think you're going to need a lot of mics. Are there any other outlets? Uh, well, there's a light switch by every door, and there's an there's a outlet on, on every wall. There's a, a water pipes coming up in the corner, I think. I mean, it's not perfect, but... Yeah, we can go in at night. Be out in five hours tops. 
So we good? Sure. All right. This is an affidavit stating that Nazoli intimated to you that he was responsible for the death of Herbie the Jew Berkowitz. It also states that you personally witnessed Nazoli charging rent to drug traffickers on the Lower East End of Providence. I've been killed by this one. Bad guy. What's going on in Freddy? Well, despite the loss of our witness, we've decided to go ahead and prosecute our case against Freddy. Which should keep him off the streets for at least a few years. Oh. Right there? Right there. You know, I, I believe this is what they call uh, making a deal with the devil. Giggs, Michael is our ally in the war against crime. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, gentlemen. Listen, I'm sorry I've not been out here more. You know, I've been running around like crazy. It ain't easy filling Freddy's shoes. But, um, it's 20 grand there. If you want more, it's not a problem. Just let me know. Thank you, Michael. Things get a little tight sometimes. I know, I get it. Got pills to pay, right? Kids to feed. It's hard without Freddy. Boys listen to him, they don't listen to me. Is this something I can do? You want me to I don't have a man-to-man -man conversation with him? Or... No, that's OK. Don't worry. We'll get Freddy out. That bastard Franklin really has it out for Freddy, doesn't he? Franklin can only bend the law so far. At some point, he's got to admit he's got no case. No, that's what Boyle says. Jack Boyle, top lawyer, knows what he's talking about. What's important is you don't lose hope, OK? Keep your chin up for your kids and for Freddy, for yourself. Where have you been? Driving around. I just needed some time for myself. A call would have been nice. Sorry. How are the kids? Fed, sort of. Mac and cheese, as of progress. Mary Rose is slogging her way through the Great Gatsby. What's this? I went to work today at social services. I tried to help a woman whose son had been shot. So I wanted to get his body back so she could bury him, you know? But he'd been incinerated. Instead of his body, she got this bag of ashes. You don't have to go back. I want to. I have to. Boring. Well, I like it. I was just, what are we doing? We're just staring at the fucking screen. Nothing happens. Oh, it's good. It takes my mind off things. What things? You know, st stuff, things, you know, whatever. Why, what's your problem? I don't have a problem. 
Come on, what? Don't, don't jump down my throat. Um, no, I wasn't. I wasn't jumping down my throat. Oh, hey. I got you something. I didn't have time to wrap it or anything. It's not groceries. <laughs> Should I open it? No, 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 no. Let's just sit and stare at the bag for a couple hours. Okay. Hmm. Nice, right? Fuck you, Michael. I'm not that easy. The Parks and Highways Commission will now invite competitive bids on three projects repaving Blackstone Boulevard from Westford Road to North Avenue, expansion of the 95 ramp at Atwells, and the Central Avenue interchange at 295 in Johnston. Everett, I understand you want to make a bid? Yes, sir, I do. I'd like to take a crack at Blackstone Boulevard. What's your bid? 300,000 even. That's a lot of money. Well, I can lay out the figures to you. Please. Tearing up with stale, take 100,000 and change. How much change? 8,000. 8,000. You call that change? Well, it's just a figure of speech. Hmm. Didn't think the old man would notice. Well, guess what? He does notice. And it pisses him off. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna sit back down, and I'm going to entertain someone else's bid for Blackstone Boulevard. Judd, you have to let Everett finish his bid. Are you telling me how to do my job? I'm just reminding you of the protocol. Fuck protocol. The purpose of this gathering is to give the best possible deal for the people of Rhode Island. Not worrying about some stupid protocol. Sit down, Everett. How about you, Morris? You interested in Blackstone Boulevard? I can throw in I could throw it, you, you know, 95, the, 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 the ramp, you, uh, your boys, they, your boys, they can, um, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I think we should move on to the next item. Um, we have to consider the ramif, the ramif, the ramif, Construction costs cannot exceed annual rate of inflation. Why'd you do it? What the hell are you doing here? Judd. He's sitting over in his house like a man who's just seen the abyss look back. Now, I can't get anything out of him, except you betrayed him. It's because of that committee meeting, wasn't it? Shut the door. 
You should never have let him go. You know full well how frail he is. You know his mind wanders. You know how proud he is. You should have stopped him. You should have protected him. Why didn't you protect him? You should see him now. He's completely broken. He's the saddest fucking thing I've ever seen. And why do you care so much about Judd? Because he's me fucking da. And I was hoping... I was hoping to get to know him a bit. Hey, Deco. Hey, Michael. What's the big mystery? I've come to a point in my life where I need a clean conscience. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It was Freddy who had your skull bashed in. He had some guys from out of town to it. I, uh, a friend of mine in Intel told me a while back. The, the Russian thing? I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. I haven't been a very good friend. Don't be stupid. You're not a friend. Good family. You did. Judd. Colin's got a couple of questions. Questions? What kind of questions? Well, I don't know. Uh, what's your favorite beer? <clears throat> Am still at Christmas. Blue ribbon on the Fourth of July. <laughs> Best place for fireworks is Narragansett Beach. Fireworks. Fourth of July. Oh, we go berserk for fireworks, don't we? We celebrate our independence from England. And you the lucky buggers. Small. It's a small state. Freddy. This lovely. Listen, there's something I, I need to tell you. I, uh, I hesitate to because I know it's just gonna add to your anxiety in this fucking place, but I, I think you should know. What's that? 
Michael knows. He knows that you're the one who tried to whack him. That you're the one who ordered it. And I don't know how he knows, but he knows. Sorry, Freddie. 